This has had history of racism built into it over the years. It's not an accident. That racism? What? Stop mixing the issues. Really? Racism? Welcome to the show. Thank you. So, I'm gonna say from the top, because I've noticed this happens in every conversation. Every time you bring up trans rights, or if you have a discussion and you say trans, people tense up. I understand why. We live in a world where now there are people who are so transphobic that it makes it almost impossible for people who aren't to ask any questions, to have any conversations, to have any... What does he mean by transphobic? Because they are very... Depending on who you ask, they, it's a, it has a very different meaning, depending on who you ask. If you ask some trans people who I know, they say it's, you know, like people actually hurting them, people actually doing hate speech. And to others, it's just like, um, how do you say, like just mis misgendering them or accident. That could be a transphobe. So who knows? Or saying like trans women shouldn't play in sports. That's a transphobe. I don't think that that's true, by the way. I don't think that, I don't think that you're a transphobe if you think that. I think that you're pretty good, honestly. I think that you have common sense if you actually think that. If you think that woman, or man, I guess, or trans woman, let's, let's use the proper term. If you think that trans woman actually, you know, should be in women's sports, I don't know. That's a whole other thing, man. You're crazy to me. I'm gonna be honest with you. You're crazy. Any discourse that doesn't lump them in with transphobia. And so I, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that you're joining us on the show to talk about this, because it feels like one of the biggest issues in America, yeah. and yet no one can seem to talk about it. So let's start with your Very journey. Very true. Um, You've competed at some of the highest levels yep. uh, in sports. And, you know, as your hoodie says, sport is a human right. That, that, is, yeah. that is what you believe in. Talk me through. Okay, I, I see exactly where this is going now. First off, wasn't really paying attention there to her. I didn't realize that that was that's how she looked it. But, um, yeah. Second off, I've just seen how everybody's clapped for that, and then, you know, sports is a human right. I can see now that I already know how it's gonna go. Trevor Noah, Trevor Noah, you guys. He's pretty funny, except he, man, man, oh man. He has some very crazy opinions. Talk me through just a little bit of, of, of why you believe fighting for transgender athletes to compete in the categories they'd like to in sport is so important. So it's a fundamental tenet of like the Olympic movement, that sport is a human right. So in their Olympic charter, in their fourth fundamental principle of Olympism, they say participation in sport is a human right. And they mean that at the... Sport is a human right. You can enter man's sports. You have the same exact strength as them. Strength as them. And if you don't, you probably took the, um, the blockers or whatever. That's kind of your fault. I'm not going to lie to you. Competitive level. Mm -hmm. So... This issue, people like to say that it's a complicated issue, and I don't actually think it is. I think it's very simple. It all boils down to, do you actually think that trans women and intersex women are real women and are really female mm -hmm. or not? And if you do, it's very simple. Just stop policing who counts as a real woman. The thing is, even if you do believe that you're kind of still in danger, like say like it's a combat sport, for instance, which most sports aren't. But let's say um, I just seen a, a thing where like a, a UFC woman, uh, a transgender woman was up in the UFC with a regular biological man. Man, she mopped the floor with her, man. It was terrible. So whether you believe trans women are a real woman or not doesn't change the fact that it's still putting actual biological women in danger. Now, I know I just said actual, so you might be thinking, oh, he doesn't believe that trans women are real women. Well, you might be correct. I'm going to be honest with you. But still, that's just me because this has had history of racism built into it over the years. It's not an accident. That racism? What? You stop mixing the issues. Really? Racism? What does that have to do with trans people playing up in women's sports? That's crazy to me. Like, this is wild. That the intersex athletes who get singled out are women of color from the global south, because who gets singled out for scrutiny is based on white women's conceptions of femininity. And that's being weaponized against trans people too. So it's a fear of protecting. She is using the white privilege card on this right now, which, which is so crazy to me that she's using this. How are you using this? 
How are you even using this right now? You're white. Again, I don't even really believe in white privilege too much. But, I mean, you know, some things that white white people get more than, you know, black people, but, you know, or anybody. But, but that's just a thing, you know, deal with it. But really, that's why how she even just brought race into this in the first place. She, she basically just said that white women see feminine, like femininity in a certain way. So because of that, they are policing trans women. What? First off, that's not true. Second off, black women, which I know personally because you know I am a black man. I'm around black women all the time. Most all of my family is black, so yeah, you know, almost most of my family is black. Oh my god, hey yo, I'm wild. But um, they literally don't like that shit. They don't like that shit. So stop. You know what I mean? Like that's what they say. They say stop all of this. They say, stop all of this. I don't like it, so stop. That's what they say to me. Black women, not white women, black women that are a part of my family say that. The fragile, weak, cis white woman from the rest of us. So, so. See? See? Like she's using the race up in this. Man, I'm pretty sure it's most people. Black. If anything, I think black women probably are opposed to a more than white woman. They definitely are. And they're at. They're pretty vocal about it. You just don't want to speak up on them. You know you don't. Because you know that they going to be on your ass. Come on now. There are many elements to what you said, which I appreciate. So let's try to break them down. Which you appreciate. Trevor Noah, man. Like I said, this guy is funny, but he's not being funny right now. So he's kind of useless to me. One thing that confuses me personally is... It, it, it seems like we have discussions about who should participate in which category and how. You know, on the face of it, it seems simple, as you say. You know, if somebody identifies as a woman, if they're transgender, they can compete against women who were born biologically, and, and then if not, then not. But then there are many who would argue who are not transphobes. There are many who, who were born biologically women who will say, but you have an unnatural advantage over me. I think that that's fair. For biological woman to say what's wrong with that you know i just don't understand how she brought race into that that's so crazy to me that she just brought race into this this is the world we live in now to where you got to bring race into everything that has nothing to do with race <laughs> and that makes the sports unfair how do you how do you respond to that yeah there's lots of ways you can respond to that so the first is the the very language of you were born and I'm not biological somehow like I don't think I'm a oh no 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 she did not just do that so be she said the very logic that you are born so I'm not biological yes that is the logic basic logic oh my god oh my god this is the type of stuff I'm talking about man. cyborg so like this idea that like oh you're not a biological woman well I am a woman that's a fact I am female so all my identity it's not a fact. That is not a fact at all. Any records, my racing license, my medical records all say female, mm -hmm. right? And I'm pretty sure I made a biological stop. So I'm. A that is so crazy to me that I ain't even gonna speak on that one. Biological female mm -hmm. as well. So this question of do trans women have an advantage over cis women? We don't know. Um, in fact, we don't know. She didn't just say, we don't know. She just said, we don't know. Really? You don't know. You don't know if you have an advantage over regular. Well, I'm not going to say regular because that's kind of offensive at that point. Right now, now I'm just being offensive for no reason. But biological woman, you don't think you have an advantage over? Even the bone structure is different. The way that you're built is different. Like, if I can look at you and I can tell that you are a trans person, that is proves right there that, it, that you're different no matter what. <laughs> Stop. There's basically no published research on this question. However, uh, there's good reason to think that there isn't, but I think it's irrelevant because we allow all kinds of competitive advantages within women's sport. So one example I love to talk about is the 2016 Rio Olympic women's high jump final. Oh, she got the facts on deck. She got the example on deck. Let's see what she said. First place was over six foot three. Tenth place was five point. foot five. So a ten and a half inch height difference between first and tenth 
at the Olympics okay. in high jump. Right. And we call that fair. Okay. So the range of body types within the female category is way, way bigger than anything that could be attributed to trans women. Uh -huh. So if there's an advantage, and I'm not saying that the- mm. but Hold on, wait, before, before I even chime on what she just said right there. She's basically saying that since women already have different criteria for themselves, because they already have different criteria for different body types already, that this should be acceptable too. And she said, if there's a difference or if there's an advantage, which I'm not saying there is, huh? Okay. You sound kind of like OJ right now. If I killed them, but I'm not, but I'm not saying I did. I'm not saying I did kill them. Didn't say I killed them. But if I did, I would have grabbed the knife. I would have, you know, all of that stuff that he was doing up in that little documentary. Yeah, man, that's kind of exactly what you're doing right now to me. There is for trans women in women's sport. It's not an. It's kind of like you're just rubbing it up in like the faces of people that you're clearly, you know, getting away with something that you're not supposed to. But you're going through the hypothetical situation right now where you are, like you know, like where you're not getting away with it, or like where it should be acceptable, acceptable to get away with it. And you're going through the scenario right now, kind of like what OJ did, except a, a bit way less extreme, you know, way way less extreme. So I don't want anyone to compare it to that. That is kind of what you're doing, though. You know what I mean? So I don't know unfair advantage but also we've been competing at trying to compete at the highest level for decades we've been allowed to compete for decades and no one has won an elite world championship no one has won an olympic because you might not be good enough it's like a woman saying that nobody has become a ceo before might not have been good enough i think there are multiple now now there are multiple women that are good enough they got the skills they got the degrees the education you don't have to have a degree to be a CEO, by the way. But you know, stuff like that, so yeah. Olympic gold medal. This Tokyo Olympics was the first time trans women even qualified for the Olympics. Mm -hmm. So this idea that trans women are suddenly gonna take over women's sport is an irrational fear of trans women, which is the dictionary definition of transphobia. So uh, it's interesting that you say that. Okay, first off, she just kind of ate that definition, honestly, I ain't gonna lie, that was kind of fire. That she kind of switched it into that. Even if I disagree, I can tell when somebody, you know, has, you know, did a good segue. But um, I will say this about that. I'm not going to lie. She just lost my train of thought with that. Hold on. Let me go back. Sound like half, kind of, kind of look like Kathy Newman right now, though. This Tokyo Olympics was the first time trans women even qualified for the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this idea that trans women are suddenly going to take over women's sport is an irrational fear of trans women, which is the dictionary definition of transphobia. So uh, it's interesting. Okay, that's what I was gonna say. I remember now. I just forgot because I ain't gonna lie. Like she was pretty cool with the, you know, that's the, you know, definition. I think that you're all was saying an ir ir uh, irrational fear. You're off with that, which I think so is not the dictionary definition because you're, because you're off with saying that. And I think that they are, you know, they are reasonably feared, you know, trans women up in women's sports. Now let's see if they have any more arguments. Let's see. I just think that is feared, you know, reasonably. You know, I think it's good that you say that i think it's coming from a good place too i don't think it's coming from like a place of malice you know nobody hates anybody i just think that we also want to protect you know women even though now that you know i don't need to be protected <laughs> all that but yeah you know you know because it's interesting that you say that because i think if if i were to push back or you know even not even playing devil's advocates uh, there, were, there are a few things that could be argued number one not even playing devil's advocate he don't even want to act like he even remotely against it at all. He's so scared, man. But there are many who would say, how do we ensure that we are creating some sort of standard? And the reason, the reason we talk to this, is, you know, we talk about this is, it's the reason they have to regulate, uh, regulate uh, performance enhancing drugs. For instance, what is fair? What can you drink? What can you not drink? What yeah, like what, what's the, um, what, do, what am I trying to say right now? Like what is the limit to it? Is there a limit? Is there a line that should be crossed or that can be crossed, you know? Like, is there a line that can't be crossed? You know, like, how big can you get as a trans woman to join even? Like, as big as her? I'm not gonna lie to you. She does, like, even from the body type, she just doesn't look like a woman, you know, from just a body type, you know? From seeing her instantly. Like, because, you know, at first I was just looking at him. But then when I actually started paying attention, I see, you know, the body. I don't know, you know? 
then could there not be an argument if there is no advantage in that, that then trans women should be able to compete, but in the men's races then, because they'd still be able to compete in the sport. That's exactly what I was just saying at first. When the video first started, didn't I say just compete with men? It'd be easier. And if you're weaker, that is your fault because you decided to take some type of pills or whatever, or I don't know, injections to make yourself weaker. That's all I was saying, you know? But he's, ba he's basically just making my argument. Let's see what her response is. And then I'm going to see if she, if she actually argues pretty good. I'm going to be looking stupid right now. Who knows? I'm willing to look stupid, you know. But they're women and they're female. So. He didn't make a good argument. I'm, I'm glad I didn't look stupid. She didn't make a good argument. See, I'm glad, you know, when you, when you. Like I said, this boils. The reason I just stopped my sentence is because I didn't, I didn't even want to say what I was going to say because it was going to, it was going to come off as a bit arrogant. You know, I don't want to come off as that, you know, I'm not really. Yeah. Down to are trans women really women? Are they really female? Because if you think yes, then we belong competing with other women. So it's an extreme indignity to say, I believe you're a woman except for sport. Right? So mm -hmm. you can't single out. So basically, we all have to say we don't believe in women. Basically, I mean, we don't believe we don't believe in women. We don't believe you're a woman. You're basically forcing us to hurt your feelings at that point then. Because I would rather say that than you be up in women's sports. I'm going to be honest with you. I would rather say that you're not a woman than you be up in women's sports. I'm going to just be honest about that. Now, I don't think you guys want me to do that. I think you guys want me to be polite and actually call you by the proper pronoun, which I will because I respect people in general. If somebody actually asked me, hey, I want to be referred to as this, I would do that. But for you to just say that if you do that, but you don't want us up in sports, you, don't, you might as well not call us women. Okay, I guess we got to do that then. Huh? Like, come on. One of the most important facets of our society. We are obsessed with sport. Athletes are some of the most highly praised, highly paid people on the planet. Definitely. Definitely. So you can't say that, like, I believe you and I support you, but not for this one really big thing that society really cares about. See, and Jan that's just where we disagree at, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I think this video has been running kind of long. I don't even know. I'm only seven minutes up until, like, the actual video, except I'm pretty sure I've been talking a decent amount. I don't even know. But, um, yeah, man, I think I'm going to get out of here, man. This is an interesting one. Subscribe to their channel, um, the Trevor Noah Show, or The Daily Show. I guess that's the name of their YouTube channel. Subscribe to them. Yay, Dottie. I'm out. Subscribe to me, too. Hold on. Wait, no, 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 no. Wait, I'm moving too fast. I'm still new to this. Oh, I'm still new to this. I'm still pretty new to this. Subscribe to me. You know you want to. Look at the background. Look at the little everything around me. Yeah, I worked hard on this. Subscribe.